Ladies and gentlemen, I hope all is well with you and your loved ones. I'm Travis, and welcome to the IPH Theory. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a video today about a young lady saying that women are rejecting the good men. And she claims that basically men and women have dropped the ball. That's how I feel about it. But let us review. We have made it okay for men to give us the bare minimum. We have lowered our standards and men are not creating this. They are responding to this. That's the part that women need to own. That is why the Red Pill community is successful. Okay, I want to stop her right there. She says that she feels like men are giving women their bare minimum and women have accepted it. I feel like it's the absolutely opposite. I feel like women are giving the bare minimum and we have to accept it. We have to accept other men's kids. We have to accept all the men that you have slept with before us. And then we have to turn around and hear, oh my God, he doesn't last long in the bed or he works too many hours. I, I, I feel like Men accept the bare minimum. Literally, these women these days will say, hey, I'm coming with a package. And her package is two kids from two different men. Whoever accepts that is accepting the bare minimum. So I do disagree with her opening statement, but there is a time where I do agree with her. Let us continue. That's why it exists, because it is true. Women reject the construction worker who might have a little bit of a dad bod, right? He might have a little bit of a dad bod, but he's hardworking. He's fairly attractive. He's five foot 11. So he doesn't have all the sixes. He's not six foot tall with a six pack and six figures, right? But he's fairly attractive, but she doesn't want him. Not because he's not a good candidate and not because he's not good enough, but because women are wired we're, we have a very nasty mindset, unfortunately. We are very critical. We are very judgmental. We are doing it because we want the other women around us to respect our fly based on the man that we're with. That's a, that's a problem. Okay, she did say some things that I do agree with. How she says that a lot of women are rejecting good men. They are. You know, you will sleep around and entertain the bad boy or, or the guy that it's not looking out for your best interest, but like she says, the construction worker or the plumber or the bricklayer or the coach or the ref or the entrepreneur, he's building his way up, but you want him to already have that bag before you get with him when real women will build with you and create that family with you. You know, a lot of you all be wanting to wait for the winners at the finish line, but when we get to the finish line, what work have you put in? When we get to the finish line, are you at least in decent shape? When we get to the finish line, are you going to be waiting at the finish line with other men's kids? Are you? And her last statement was, they women, they really want a man that looks good in front of everybody. Look, if you want to steal your joy, then keep comparing. If I fall in love with a woman, I don't give a damn what none of my friends say. As long as this woman is there for me, she honors me. She's loyal. We take care of each other. We are loving and supportive. We're honest. I don't care what anybody say. As long as you're not disrespecting me and my family and vice versa, I'm not going to disrespect you and your family. But some women care about what their friends say. But like Mr. Kevin Samuels used to say, single women keep women single. Do you know that they have men out here that are in construction and when they get home, their boots are dirty, their pants are dirty, but they have beautiful women that still have a nice meal cooked for them. But that same bricklayer, if he ended up seeing you when he got off work, 
you probably wouldn't even give him your number, even if you were attracted to him. You're going to look at his shoes. You're going to look at his shirt and say, oh, he's dirty. But in reality, he's a hardworking blue collar man. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but like I say, I agree with her further on in her video at the beginning about, you know, women have allowed men to give them the bare minimum. I highly disagree with that. Men get the bare minimum. You know, that's just like you asking a man, what do you bring to the table? And then a man goes, I am the table. And technically, he has every right to say that, because if you want him to pay all the bills, he is the table. Isn't he? Ladies and gentlemen, I hope all is well. Once again, I'm Travis. Welcome to the IPH Theory. Please like, follow, subscribe and comment. Thank you.